Hello everyone, and welcome to a very special anime on draft. Yeah, we're live. We're doing video. This is cool, man. Even though it's just the two it's of just us. Just the two of us. Yeah. That's probably why just we're doing the it. Two of us. Yeah, it's a little easier to do with just two of us while the other guys are like all over the um, country. Yeah, exactly. So but this is cool. Yeah, this will be interesting. It's kind of like a test run, I guess, on and we'll see how it goes. Probably put it all over the place and Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna look bad. It already looks bad from <laughs> from from like a production like you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. We we are in the production life and we're very low budget. This is no budget. Yeah, this yeah. is cool. No budget. <laughs> yeah. High five. <laughs> well, anyways, I guess um we have two beers today. So one of them is I finally got my hands on the founders KBS, the what is it? Kentucky Breakfast Stout. Oh yeah. Kentucky. So, Kentucky, I think it's Kentucky Breakfast Stout. Yeah. Um and this is like one that I've just heard it and seen the the name thrown around seen pictures of it everywhere and people are just saying that it's amazing so we're gonna try it so i, I found one like it was a, one bottle in the liquor store because they had like this new section where like just random bottles you can buy for like two dollars so i was like oh fuck yes i'm gonna <laughs> grab this <laughs> um so yeah that's what i grabbed today and then i'm not sure what else you brought um this is the boulevard brewing company the sixth glass it is a quad, so um, nice. kind of different, but a little bit. Uh, it's got. I think it's got like similar. Hmm, like it's pretty sweet good notes. I didn't even like smell this at all. Oh, that smells delicious see already. Yeah, like that's got very like caramel toffee. Yeah, yeah, very vanilla. -y. Um, well, let's try this one first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this one, I read that on the back of the bottle, it was brewed in bourbon oak barrels for a year. For a year. For a year. Yeah. That's quite a long time. That is quite a long time. What we should have done was prepared, uh, you know, slides for this back so that we could have like an image of the beer. Oh uh, yeah. Maybe I should have, we should have threw we probably, just a green screen or something. Yeah. <laughs> we, hey, you can take out blue. Yeah, I can do that. You can take out some blue. Like, that's the kind of blue that, uh... There, is that no. it? Yeah. All right, let's top it off. Um, that's Ooh. the kind of blue that's not naturally occurring, so... Right. I don't think it's on here, is it? Uh, yeah, it definitely is. Well. Well? That's too bad. Well, we'll see. Maybe next time. Maybe. Maybe throw it up there or something. We just... So, <laughs> for, the, for the future versions of this, we have to right. just have a... A green screen or a blue screen in the back yeah, yeah. so that we can just change the background there we go and also not do it in my bedroom yeah 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 well i mean <laughs> granted like like we said this is our the first one but we'll for the next time when we have everybody i think we'll probably just have to do like webcams and then yeah. kind of do it twitch style but this is cool for like a first time where we're actually like sitting down yeah and, we'd have to find a place that's like everyone can be in yeah if we wanted to do like a like a full full like well podcast style <laughs> traditional yeah the fourth member won't be able to do that oh, unless right, he's right. in town that's true which would yeah, then we can do like a special special occasion yeah type of live yeah oh. lo a love live what you will love live oh, yeah. <laughs> um what would be funny is if we did like the green screen and it's just his face is in the background on his <laughs> webcam. He's just and we're all just God. sitting there, and he's just like, <laughs> you got Alec in the background. <laughs> he's just like just giant head. He'd probably love it. He'd be like, yeah, I'm the most important. That would be really funny, though. <laughs> that would be funny. Let's, all right, let's we'll, future episodes. Watch, watch out for it. <laughs> all right, let's 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 get into this. This thing smells delicious. It smells great. It smells great. I remember you like linked this a long time ago. Yeah, because I wanted to buy it, but it was like, I found one, and it was... Uh, a four pack but it was like 30 something dollars and i was like yeah i don't i don't a think four I pack for 30 something dollars that's not <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> not something i'm gonna <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go for um maybe unless we all went pitched in on it but this smells like coffee and chocolate just straight up hmm 
Definitely get a little bit of that chocolate, like right at the front. It's very roasty. Yeah, very very roasty, but it's good. It's it's a very balanced flavor, and like you don't get a, a whole lot of that. Like you get enough of that oak like barrel like taste that it's not overpowering. It doesn't seem like it's like really strong. Like if this if this, I mean, it's a twelve. 12.4 ABV, but it doesn't taste Mm-mm. that strong, really. The, I think the oak is like a really nice it's like, finish to it's it. It's very subtle. It's almost like you're only only getting like the smell of oak barrels, like not really like that full oaky taste that mm, you can get. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause then like a lot of whiskeys that are like, or I'm sorry, like bourbon that are bait, like, uh, you know, um, aged, in, aged in like bourbon, in, like oak yeah. barrels, you kind of get that like oaky flavor and it almost like tastes earthy, um, which is good in like whiskey. Cause you kind of like, it kind of, you know, balances out, but in this, like you're only getting that smell of it. So it, it really just kind of like lingers for a second, but it's like enjoyable. Yeah. Um, I just did, uh, the breathe and taste method mm. and that really brings out the oak. It yeah. really opens up the palate. So like, um, yeah, uh, like I think that a lot of um, connoisseurs do, like whether it's like for wine or coffee in particular, mm-hmm. because aerating the um, the liquid kind of like lets the the like your it lets your olfactory senses also participate in the tasting. Right. And that kind of gives it a whole like kind of floral um you just like get a like floral the, like, flavor yeah you get like more of a floral smell so when i first went whiskey tasting in like an actual like whiskey room here in la actually um the guy told us like that was the first time i had ever heard it he said like well try this you know take a sip and while you're taking a sip just very slowly and like breathe in <clears throat> and it changes the entire flavor mm-hmm. and that was a crazy thing i was like Oh my god, that was amazing! Yeah, that worked. I was like, I'm like tasting new flavors that I didn't notice that was like the first time because you're ignoring your right. other sense. Like I'm like so focused on what I'm tasting that I'm not really like trying to breathe it in, and like you're also kind of like they're mixing together mm-hmm. in a sense. But so I mean, yeah, this is pretty good. I guess I could see why it's so expensive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I bought this for like two dollars, so I guess I got lucky. But it is two dollars. Yeah, dude, it was it was it was in a section that said two dollars per beer, and it was like random beers. Funny if someone accidentally put that in there. Maybe I don't know. (laughs) I mean, I paid two dollars for it. Paid two dollars for this. (laughs) It's like a like you said, it's thirty dollars a a four pack. I don't know. I think that's just because it was like it was at a liquor store, and I've never seen it anywhere else over here. Like you can get it random, huh? It's like a seven dollar beer. Probably it's probably something like that. But I mean, other beers that were in there were like Sculpins and like a Stone Delicious IPA, which is like, all right, it's, I know it's good like beers, but <laughs> a lot of barrel aged beers like this, mm-hmm. they do like come in small boxes and tend to be like between the ten to twelve dollar range. I have seen like a fifteen dollar bottle, oh, um, that size. Yeah. So it's definitely it's possible a thing. Yeah. But those are usually like uh. Like obviously barrel aged barley wine type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I barley wine. How much was the that Sukaba was like? It was like eight dollars, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So stuff like that. There's a lot of the Firestone ones that are just like the individual bottles because they're very, they're they're select barrels. Yeah, yeah. They're like high alcohol content. They're barrel aged, and they're, I mean, they're only shipping them out in like single, mm-hmm. you know, package. So kind of makes sense that they, they would be a little on the pricier side mm-hmm. but yeah we scored we got lucky <laughs> what, what do you think um you'd give this out of five i don't know i feel like i'm like influenced by the hype but i like it's living up to it so i mean it's very good mm-hmm. i have to say um because you get like the roasty flavor yeah. And then the after finish is very like stouty. Yeah. It's got the kind of chocolatey malt finish. I don't know. Probably give us four four seven five. Yeah. Since since we go by two point or point two five I increments. <laughs> I think I'm with you there. I give it a four point eight. Four 
4.8 you're gonna do it yeah yeah, yeah. Can you 4.8 switch it up yeah <laughs> i'm with you right there 4.8 yeah <laughs> yeah let's switch it up yeah 4.8 that's like a 96 so this is good this is this delicious is good. and i want more of them like i wish we had it more often out here I feel, or it was easier to find at least. I feel bad for Alec because he really wanted to try this when you, right. when you linked it. Yeah. Well, there's another one. So there's, I think, I think I linked two. So I linked this one and then uh, the Canadian breakfast. Oh, out. the Canadian breakfast out someone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that one's like $25 for, you know, like a 750 milliliter. Right. Well then. But we'll, we'll have to try that one. We'll have to wait till he's in town. Yeah. And then try that one. Yeah, we can do that. Cause that one's also like pretty, pretty popular. It's, mm-hmm. it's well known, but. Cause that was the one that was like uh candied bacon or yes something. yeah yeah i mean it's canadian, canadian breakfast, breakfast. <laughs> which sounds delicious so um sorry alec but we'll try to find some more and taste these another time when you're uh when you come like back. uh thanksgiving who knows yeah we'll, we'll see maybe not thanksgiving christmas that's, that's in like three months already yeah crazy it's going by fast yeah it is especially with all this like so now that we have like the podcast that's like well i'm like a part of it i feel like it goes by quicker yeah because it's like something to do during the week that we're like we just try to get out and so it's like yeah i have work but then we go to the podcast <laughs> and then the podcast. like we, that's like more like work but it's like fun you know well the the other thing being so we basically just finished up the spring season and spring season was our first season last year Right, right, right. So, um, like, I remember when Anime Expo came around last year, we talked about it and complained about it. Right. <laughs> and that, um, that was, like, a year ago. So Exactly, yeah. Years gone by pretty fast. Yeah, it really has, which is cool. So, yeah, if that, in case I didn't give it away, like, we were recording this immediately after Anime Expo, literally the day after it ended. And so it's gonna come out like yeah, and it'll come out some. Like, it'll be in the in same time, so couple of days. Yeah, so we'll still be relevant at least. Yeah, <laughs> and I said in the last episode that the episode was gonna come out during Anime Expo. Oh right, right. I didn't take into consideration that I was gonna be at Anime Expo. You're gonna be attending, so and so I couldn't yeah. get the episode on SoundCloud. Well, we talked about it. Like yeah. we we had like some content <laughs> on there. You know, we talked about it for a little bit at least. So. You know, if you haven't listened to the full podcast, go go catch up on it. And then, you know, you can hear what we were going to what we had already complained about yeah. <laughs> from last year's Anime Expo and what we were looking forward to see. So I guess and you then know. you'll be validated in this episode. Exactly. Or if you're, you know, just joining us for the first time and then you'll kind of just hear our take on it, at least um, including what this is going on right here. The love live love live so so how was it man i'm kind of sad i didn't go oh man dude yeah. so wednesday night was great um it so basically last year i didn't go and i felt like this re- sense of regret of yeah. not knowing. <laughs> yeah um even though they only did like a 45 minute set and uh, it was part of the um any song world matsuri japan kawaii live right was it a was it like a full concert like it was this year like, no it, it was wasn't, right? it was all Smaller. like a bunch of different artists yeah that's like what combined I thought. together okay, okay so they had that again this year right 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 not many people attended it yeah unfortunately because I, I feel was, bad for those groups yeah like, i mean like i heard it was pretty good but it yeah. didn't sell very well like because like there's still like good groups like akb48 right and uh idol master mm-hmm. so like it's not like it's just a bunch of like no names sure it's like basically like people. what they had last year minus aqua right um and they ended up getting their own concert because love live is a lot more popular yeah it's gotten really less. really big like um muse was like super like it like they underestimated how popular that was going to be right. and then i think that kind of gave momentum to aqua and now like right now they're kind of at their peak Maybe not their peak, but like they're out there at their full stride. Oh, for sure. Um, but Wednesday was the their full live full because it was only two hours rather than four. But it was their four it was hours. the first mm-hmm. it was their first what they call one man live. It's like they're the only ones performing. There's yeah, no yeah. um they're they're not just the headliners, but like they're 
the only that's the one only performance. performance. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty big for like, yeah performance, especially especially out of outside country. of Japan. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and for this to happen, and for essentially it to be a packed house, like ticket sales looked like it was gonna there were gonna be some seats in the orchestra left, and mm-hmm. then like the mezzanine. Yeah, it basically filled out. That's pretty cool. So there were some seats left, but overall it was basically full. And it was like really awesome. Yeah. The they did a lot of stuff that they didn't perform or that they weren't performing at their current third live that just finished right. this past weekend. Yeah, you were telling me that, I think. And um so a bunch of groups, the Yoza Road and Conan Rail group, they tried to replicate the stuff that basically at like the Korea fan meet, they did like a pen light surprise, yeah, yeah. the whole pen light thing. Ooh. Um yeah. and so another group decided they wanted to make a rainbow yeah. with the um, ending theme song for the second season. Mm-hmm. And I honestly, I was really skeptical about it because yeah. I didn't think it was going to happen. I know. I remember you telling me they're like, man, people want to do the rainbow, but like, I like, don't think anybody is like aware that they want to do it. But yeah, I mean, word got out like, like, I guess the moral of the story is like Twitter. Um <laughs> Because like it was on the subreddit, yeah, the right, like right. subreddit, yeah. it was on Twitter. People were spreading the word around, and basically, what happens is in the ending song for the second season, during the solo, mm-hmm. it just like goes off like one measure each, one color, another color, until like all colors are out. Yeah, and then like, I hope they release official footage because all the unofficial footage isn't. It's allowed. Very good. It's not allowed. Well, right, right. That I, I did read yeah. that. You know, people weren't allowed to take video. It, you're, you're not allowed to take any photo or video. But like, it's not allowed to even share any of that stuff because that's crazy. Um, it could prevent stuff like this happening again, especially for other countries too. Interesting. Um, but if you ever happen upon <laughs> that kind of footage and see it, like it captures the moment when basically Anton, the leader, she. Yeah. She's like doing her solo and then all the stuff starts happening mm-hmm. and then like all the colors like the come colors out and then like changing. at about like almost like the full like rainbow occurs. She's like you could hear her voice start cracking like oh, she's man. realizing what's going on. Yeah, and, yeah. Like you hear like you can hear in her voice like the amazement at like what's going on <laughs> and everyone's like oh my gosh. Like that's it, so it happened. Cool. It that's happened. like that's like magical. Yeah. Like, that's really cool man. Like, that's was, why I'm like, I'm so sad that I missed that. Like I missed uh, out on that. And it was, it sounds like such an awesome experience. It was, it was really good. That's cool. Um, like I specifically remember that moment Yeah. because one, I didn't think it was going to happen. Sure. Like properly. And two, I totally didn't like expect that reaction to be so emotional for them because like they were like kind of crying after, <laughs> after like, oh, man. the whole thing, and they're like, "What is this?" It's like, "Oh, it's a surprise." They're like, "Oh, yeah. wow, that's really cool." And the fact that the basically all the foreigners were able to pull off, yeah, something yeah. like this, yeah, that's cool. Um, I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, really, like, I wouldn't have expected that it would have blown up so fast and so quickly because I mean, mm-hmm. it it didn't seem like word was out there maybe a week before. It yeah. seemed like it was like almost the last minute, but it just kind of just blew up and then everybody was like sharing it. And I saw like a couple of um, subreddits and there was like a really big one on like somebody yeah. who was trying to organize it all happening. And they were they had a bunch of different groups and people were like coordinating. Mm-hmm. And then I talked to a couple of people the day after and they were like, like, I read about it, but I wasn't sure it was going to happen. And then they just noticed colors going up. So they were like, oh, well, I'm just like yeah. sitting next to people. And so, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to like follow. And then, so, people so were just, you know, just went on from there. So from experience of of being in there, it yeah. was like I had known about it. And so I knew exactly what when I had to go. Yeah. But I noticed that there were some people that didn't know what was going on, uh-huh. but they instantly just switched. <laughs> that's cool and like props to you guys yeah like, so like it, it, you didn't realize what was going on but you switched right so there was a, an official picture that was out i think they released it on twitter right yeah. and, and that was the official picture that was the official picture from twitter and um uh they thanked everyone for right i did see that for the surprise that was really cool and it was like it doesn't show like the whole 
like breadth of it because it was from like a camera that was like was on, in like, front the, of the mezzanine. Yeah, it was on the mezzanine level. That looked like, um, but it's like basically a complete. Yeah, it looks cool. Like, like just seeing like that show. picture after you posted it or after, you know, you retweeted it. I was like, whoa, that's that is awesome. It yeah. looks so in- intense. Oh. Um, I remember just like going for it and then like looking around and like it happened. Yeah. And like you see on the screens, like it shows close ups of them and like they're like kind of like getting like, teary eyed. Like, oh, like, oh, man. Oh, man. That's really that's cool. Great. Yeah. I mean, even if you don't know much about love life i mean if you, like, if you go if yeah. you went like it was it was a fun experience they did a lot of stuff from yeah. their second live tour that they did last year cool. and it was pretty surprising like they did a lot of stuff that no one expected to happen nice. although they the con rail and yo's road stuff didn't happen because they didn't perform the two songs but okay we got the aqua rainbow good nice. job everyone nice well, that's cool. I mean, I'm glad it was a great experience. Hopefully they come back next year because I really mm-hmm. want to go. I, I want to go. Definitely. If they come back next year, you're going to go. For sure. For sure. Like I was I was really contemplating buying a ticket this year. And then uh, it was like a couple of days after, you know, the tickets were pretty much gone. And then I saw tickets that were like 400 and I was like, yeah, yeah. that's I'm not going to. No. 400. I mean, I, <laughs> and then I saw tickets for like 200 and I was like, maybe. No, I mean, maybe. I, I wish I got VIP. Because at oh, the yeah. end, VIP people got to, you know, just say bye to bye Oh, them. really? Oh, but that's cool. You got to kind of be a premier, mm. premier Anime Expo badge holder to get the insider we'll, for that. We'll get to that premiere yeah. maybe later. We'll, we'll, we'll get our thoughts on premiere. But that's cool, man. And it was great. Yeah, yeah. that was a good experience. It looked like a lot of fun. I mean, like I said, I, I wish I went afterwards. So. If you don't follow Love Live, you should now. <laughs> Well, there you go. So, Love Live concert was great. Do um, you want to get move into more Anime Expo? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Line Con? Oh, dude, you killed yours, man. I killed mine. You should finish it. Um, so, here's the uh, Boulevard 6 glass. This is the second glass, but... Oh, you're in your 6 glass? Yeah, I'm on my 6 glass. Oh, shit, dude. So, uh, <laughs> what do you think of uh, Anime Expo? I mean, it was, it was cool. Like, uh, going into it... I had a lot of expectations, especially from last year. Like, I think last year I only even went on Sunday, and that was like enough for me, just because I just wanted to go to the exhibit hall, and I didn't have time to go. Well, yeah, it's like, and then you guys didn't go on Saturday because the lines, line, and that was just what completely threw me off, and I didn't want that to happen this year. But after, like, we you know we heard about them shipping out badges, and that they're all going to be RFID, so it was going to be a little bit easier. And that definitely helped. That helped so much. I, yeah, I have getting to admit. Into the getting con. in, right? <laughs> but once you're in there, what happened? Yeah, and then once, but once you're in, it's just like there's so many people. I, I think, and I hate to say this, but I think they have to like cut off ticket sales at some point. Yeah, because because then it's going. I mean, you're kind of going the way of like BlizzCon, but at least it's like enjoyable as to where, sure, there's still like you know tens of thousands of people who are there. But it's going to be less because they're not just, it, like, trying to just sell as many as they can. Saturday? So yeah. You remember Saturday? Oh, Saturday was... Saturday was so packed. Insane. Um, it, it it basically felt like a slightly less packed Comic-Con. Mm-hmm. And if they and don't start smaller. capping sales... <laughs> if they don't start pack, or capping sales of, like, the badges... Yeah. Then it's going to be as packed as Comic-Con... And people are just going to be unhappy. Yeah, because I mean, and this is just like in a general, like anime in itself is becoming more and more popular, popular and yeah. more and more like, you know, uh, kind of accepted to go to things like this. So like this is just becoming the thing to do because it's like, yeah, I enjoy it. So I want to go and like experience things live and see cosplay and stuff. So it's yeah. just, just awesome. It's amazing. But then again, it's like we run into these issues where there's, you know, thousands of fans who want to go see a studio panel because it's like, you know, the, the creators are there or editors or, yeah. you know, the producer director are there. And it's like a, you know, once a, I guess once in a year, but it's like some, for some yeah. people it could be once in a <laughs> lifetime a, because if you, you never come know. from yeah. elsewhere. Like if you're not from California, Southern California, right. It's a pretty far. Yeah. Like, and, and this is like vacation to some people. And I met a lot of people who, you know, took time off to come out here and experience things. But yeah. 
lines were just so crazy that they couldn't even get in line to wait hours. See, and that's, that's where it is. Last year was line con. Yeah, this, this year, year was capped con. Capped con. Yeah, shout out to all the Reddit. Shout out to our Street anime, Fighter. <laughs> con. To our uh, anime expo Reddit thread. But yeah, basically lines were capped. Yeah. Um, it was it's it was not six class. They need a they need a they need a cap. Like ironically, for capped con, they need a cap how many badges they sell. I, I don't know. I mean, I would hope that that would work, but who knows? Like, who knows when they would cap it or at what point? Because, I mean, I don't know how many people went this year. I don't know if they were, they like threw out numbers or not. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think last year it was like at least, what, like 40,000 or something like that? It definitely was more people this year. Yeah. Because on Thursday and Friday, which I only got to go in the evening because of work. Right. People were there and basically a lot of merch was sold out. Oh, yeah. On Thursday. Yeah, that was kind of another issue. Thursday alone, merch was sold out. (laughs) Saturday is the biggest day. Yeah. Everyone there was complaining. They're like, there's nothing here. Yeah, that that Bushi Road booth. When you you told me to go check it out, I was like, there's There's nothing here. There's nothing here. And it was Friday morning. Oh, (laughs) oh, crap. (laughs) It, it It was ridiculous. Also, like this stuff. So... This yo and this Rico I got in Japan while we were there. Oh, right, right. And 1,500 yen, I spent, a, like, at a shop, 1,500. And then this, I spent maybe, like, 2,000 yen at the arcade. They're very helpful at the Sega arcades in Oh, Japan. my God. Those people are so nice. They're so nice. Yeah. But, like, a total, like, around 3,500 yen for these two mega jumbo Yeah, which is, berries. like, 35 It's, like, 32, 32 33, 33, 33 dollars. bucks yeah. with how the yen is to the dollar. Yeah. So these, I got these at AX. Um, this was twelve bucks, fifteen, and twenty. At AX. At AX. Shit. <laughs> you can imagine that markup. You want to know how yeah. these were going for? Oh, and somebody said so. Somebody said that they bought theirs for forty-five, which was like a mid-range, and then somebody else bought the same one at a different booth for thirty-five. But you were saying you saw them for like what, like? I saw 50, I saw 60? this one for fifty, and I saw this for sixty. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's the. I that's... saw this. So this one was ranging between forty-two to sixty. Yeah. And this one was like around fifty. Yeah, I saw some like figures that I I wanted to get. Like I wanted to get a um a, a Luffy like King of Artists like where he's wearing like the um, Pirate King jacket, and I wanted to get that one at one booth. It was like fifty, and another booth it was twenty-five. I was like. What you could have got, <laughs> oh, dude? You should have gone to the arcades with us. Yeah, um, they had all of those there because they had them I in the machines. Stuff, <laughs> I know, but like they had that specific Luffy in the machines because yeah. um, we were trying to win it for for some people. Because Drew, who was also on this podcast, he was yeah. trying to win it for a friend to bring back. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you would have, they you would have spent like fifteen hundred to two crazy. to two thousand yen. That's like, crazy. Yeah. There was also, they also, I saw one booth that had the uh, Zero Two, the new figurine, and it was oh. going for 50, and I almost bought it. I probably should have. There was, um, uh, cause like they had Animate and Kotobuki booths, yeah, which were, which are stores in Japan, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and the markup at Animate was like 30 to 40 percent. That's you crazy. could see the yen price like on the thing, and it's like, oh, 600 saw, yen. I saw, I was like, oh, scratching it down. <laughs> it's like, oh, 600 yen. How much? Ten dollars. Like, it's like okay, I, I can still read that. I can, I can read that. Like <laughs> I know what the value is, like actually. But I mean, they gotta make they gotta make a buck. They traveled over. Yeah, I mean, they're either shipping stuff over yeah. or you know they just they have brought it. So, but it was still pretty funny. Just like I yeah. know how much this actually right. Is. How much it would have cost yeah. me over there. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's a that's a whole nother thing. I mean, we got to see some cool stuff. Like, not to like completely like hate on, hate on like Anime yeah. Expo. Like, I had a good time. I was, was there Friday and Saturday, and I got to see some really cool stuff. I saw the Studio Trigger panel, um, and that was really cool. They they announced their what they were have been working on. What they kind of showed like a teaser of in 2017 was Promare. And that's like gonna be their next biggest thing, but they literally just had like nothing for it. It was like fifteen seconds of like teaser, and they showed the main character. I think is like, Gallo, I think, 
the end they kind of like announced that he's part of some like rescue operation and he has like a mech that almost looked like Gurren <laughs> Oh, did we didn't, but also didn't you say they were just trolling the audience? Yeah, so the they time? showed a video of the director and I think the uh, screenwriter, and the, <laughs> the director just keeps talking about like he's going off on like what Promare is about. He's like, it's about you know these creatures are eating people's dreams and people can't go to sleep, so the main character needs to go and like rescue them. But then he's like, it stands for a uh, prototype nightmare. And oh. he's like, and there, there, there you have it. And he's like, but I'm also lying about everything. That's not what it is at all. <laughs> he's like, he's like, that's not it. I'm sorry. They, they were hilarious because like we oh. went to the live drawing. Oh, and those guys are, dude, that's they how it was the whole time. Hilarious. Those guys were really funny. Like Sushio in the live drawing. Oh, yeah. When they were announcing his name, he walks up and he just lifts just up lifts his, his shirt. shirt. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that was, that was great. That was great. <laughs> And then the, their answer about the whole, sp- like, because they, oh, like, someone asked a question goodness. about, like, why do you guys always go to space? Yeah. And they're like, well, technically, we've only gone to space once. And that's because it was in the name. <laughs> <laughs> it was, like, a whole thing about it, but it was it was funny. He's like, what did he say about gay uh, He's like, yeah. He's like, were they really? Oh, yeah. Though? It was like, no, no, but that was really gay And then, like, yeah. in another question, it was like, oh, what's your favorite mech? And he's like, oh, Evangelion. He's like, oh, so gay Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, so, like, wait, what? Uh, that was that. that so, uh, yeah, well, that was the uh, studio triggered the live drawing. Yeah. And that was a lot of fun. That was just, like, nonstop laughs. Those guys, were, those guys were having a good time up there. So I hope I, they come back next year. Yeah. I, that was the crazy thing is that... Um, he, they were saying that last year they were in like one of those side rooms and it wasn't even full. What? Yeah. He was like, we were really worried that it was, you know, they were in the main hall, like hall B. And, and they, they were really, was be yeah, empty. he was really worried that it was going to be empty. And he was like half an hour before it started, it was already halfway full. He was yeah. like, so we had a good feeling. He was like, we, we were really glad that people were like showed up and were excited to see everything. But he was like, yeah, we were kind of scared for a little bit that he wasn't going to fill up. So I don't know, man. Like, I feel like cool. this year, Anime Expo was a bit more organized yeah, in yeah. some aspects. Sure, sure. But, but there are definitely other aspects that need to improve more. So like the panels ended up being a bit better in yeah. terms of like being filled. Mm-hmm. But I feel like the whole line situation yeah it was easier to have everyone wait in specific lines in certain areas like they did this year but it was hard to figure out where the lines were if you didn't know exactly where they were right so and that was kind of what was uh, kind of weird to me actually on wednesday and or i think it was thursday and friday they were doing a really good job of like um, answering people's like tweets on like if they can't find the lines they were saying like oh the line is now in this spot and they would like take a picture of like google maps and like post it but on saturday i don't think i saw like any of that i think i saw it once for like um what was it the the a1 panel yeah. and but I mean, that was the biggest day yeah but and then by that, that time it was capped it so. was capped at, <laughs> it was capped like two hours before the event yeah and i mean at that point it's it's kind of it's pointless. Yeah. It's, you know, there's there's no there's no purpose to having a line there if you're going to cap it before the line even forms or is allowed to form. And but like that's kind of like that was like, you know, another gripe that we have. Of course, it's like yeah. capped gone. That was why it's like we can't even get in line can't to get in wait. Line. So plus a lot of the lines waited outside and it was. Oh, my weekend. God. And it was so hot this past weekend. Yeah. Yeah. It was well into the hundreds and people are standing outside, people in cosplay. I felt so bad for them. Like, oh, yeah, they're like, you know, soldiering through it like damn champs. And that was like, that was really cool. Um, so before we move on, um, there's one thing I want to ask. Yeah. Talk to you about AX. But what do you think about this beer? Oh, uh, it's good. It honestly doesn't taste like a, a quad. Yeah, it's it doesn't have as strong of an alcohol taste mm-hmm. as a normal quad does, but it's very raisiny. Yeah, kind of got like a cinnamon taste to it. I don't know. Is it like malty to you as well? A little bit, but like I'm getting like this like really like nice like grapey raisin note. Yeah, yeah. 
it's kind of like um um like an oatmeal raisin cookie mm. yeah if you think about it that's what it like, smells like really yeah it smells like a oatmeal raisin cookie it's very like effervescent too like it's got like it's not like really mm-hmm. bubbly but it's got like a nice kind of um carbonated texture to it that it's like it's it's almost like light and maybe that's why it doesn't taste as like alcohol like you know high alcohol content is that it's it's kind of light on like the flavor mm-hmm. as i like most of the quads that i've had have been like very kind of heavy mm-hmm. almost so i think this is a good one this is like yeah a, this is pretty good it's like a 12 11 12 dollar bottle mm. for for this big one it's and 22 it's, ibus that's why yeah six the, the six glass you get a lot it's a quad, so it's strong. Yeah, and it's very, it's very good. Yeah, it's pretty good. And I can start to see why it's called the sixth glass because <laughs> you can get six glasses into this. And uh, this is realize, this is pretty good. Let's let's see, brewed and bottled. Realize the how uh, drunk you are. Oh, Kansas City, man, we're we're hitting on like the Kansas today. Do you know what dwells in a glass? Ask all. Do you know what love is? Do you know what love is? <laughs> <laughs> Short tail for grown-ups. Well, here you, here you are, man. That's cool. Now I've never heard of uh, Boulevard, but where did you pick this up at? Um, I got here. this at Bevmo. Bevmo? Okay, yeah. cool. Nice. Well, uh, what do you what do you think? Definitely. Rating? Rating? Mm, I don't know. Uh, maybe I think because I, I'm thinking that it's a quad, but uh, I don't like. It doesn't taste like a quad to me. It's kind of throwing me off. I'll probably give it like a four two five. Four two five. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a four and a half. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, it's good. Um, I've I've had like if you follow the podcast, you know that I'm a big fan of just Belgian style yeah, yeah. ales. Yeah, but this is a very good quad. Yeah. It is. Let's see how strong is this. This is ten point five percent, so it's not, it's not as strong <laughs> as some as of the. As as it's, it's not as strong as that, <laughs> but um, it's a quad, so it's but still it's, strong. It's ten point five percent. That's it's twice. Ten percent, yeah. That's twice a regular beer. Yeah. Um, but it's the flavor is very nice. It's like drinking oatmeal raisin raisin cookie. Yeah, yeah. It's it's got a really nice flavor. It's very smooth. But that I think that's why it's kind of throwing me off is because I, I in my what I think of quads is I think a little bit heavier mm-hmm. and that's kind of something that I I want is, like a more ethanol yeah like kind of grain yep more grain grain taste yeah but I mean but still this is very good it's very very tasty very good balance of spice mm-hmm. and sweetness it's good this is the Boulevard Six. Brewing Company. Six glass quad. Nice. So I think we've got a couple of good beers for this episode. Nice. Yeah. So, this is this is cool, man. This um, is good tasting. We should get. We, we should do, do more. This, we should do this more often. <laughs> we should do yeah. more. More like, of this. Different random beers. And yeah. We can all get to taste it. But the thing is, like, we can do this because it's just us. Oh, right, right. Whereas, like, the other two guys are gonna like. Yeah. Like Drew's in San Diego. You know what? Because one episode when we had the Reds and I accidentally okay, you bought the wrong <laughs> yeah, beer. so I had to drink two beers. <laughs> but that was cool though because we had two beers, we had two beers, <laughs> and I had both of them. You got pretty drunk that episode. Oh, I got so drunk that episode. <laughs> I was like, after, as soon as we finished, I was like, "Holy crap, I'm pretty drunk right now." <laughs> they were like at least like eight and a half percent oh, yeah. for both of them and i was like shit i gotta drink both of these oh one of them was a it was a 22 and that's oh why. yeah yeah but that was a that was a good episode that was a good episode yeah but so like yeah anyways get back into it but like we we could do that like have one yeah. person you know who can't join us take a different beer and then the other person can try the other one yeah and then we can try both what we should do so like if we want to do this kind of thing more often yeah um, it's easier for us to meet up yeah. whether you come here or I go to your place yeah, yeah. and then we set up for this kind of thing and we just have Drew and Alec in the background fighting each other for the on the green screen oh good idea yeah 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 um so what I wanted to ask you yeah anime expo yeah so you introduced me to this discord yeah yeah anime expo meetups 
Yeah. And uh, you went to the meetup. I didn't get to go because of work. And then I tried right. to go to the K Lab panel on, on Thursday yeah. and didn't get into the panel. The, the, which, yeah. And sucks. then I just went home. Yeah. That sucks. I had to go to work in the morning. But yeah, I had to work in the morning too. <laughs> but I mean, it sucks that you drove, went all the way out there and then didn't get to go in. So, uh, how, how's that? Like, I know, like, I've I've spoken to most of the people on the Discord. Yeah. Just well, they're really cool. Like, the internet, and, and I think it's such an awesome idea. And, and, I, and I spoke briefly to the guy who started the Discord uh, while we were at a brewery. So we had, like, a 21 and up meetup. And we had, like, a, you know, below 21 meetup um, just to get dinner and, and some food. But And I spoke to a guy who started it. And I was like, dude, like, this is such an awesome idea. Like, I'm glad you did this. Like, thank you. Because it was literally like everybody who showed up had never met anybody before. Well, except for the yeah, the founder and his girlfriend, obviously. Oh, but, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully not before. But I mean, everybody else had never met and like talked, you know, within the past maybe month, like, you know, kind of briefly online. But after the meetup, like everybody was just talking constantly, like back and forth. And like it was like literally nonstop. And every time like I couldn't like log in. Uh, onto discord because i was at work i would you know log into discord and say like i had a hundred plus new message and i'm like holy crap oh, yeah. i can't go through this right even now. now like today I was, <laughs> yeah. today i was playing king's raid and yeah. then um i'm like i'm checked oh, discord's got a bunch of stuff it's got so much. people are like hey like let's like i'm glad everyone met up and all that yeah, stuff yeah. and i'm just like i felt bad because i'm like i didn't meet up with anybody right <laughs> <laughs> met, like we met like briefly oh, no, like, two, two guys. briefly a couple of people that were yeah on the discord but yeah. like it, like i didn't go to the meetups because either like i was somewhere else or right stuff but but it's cool like all of you guys you guys are awesome yeah seriously i mean it was awesome like and it's such a cool idea to say like you know you met up with like random people who you know just wanted to meet somebody else or meet some friends and you know kind of hang out because most people are going to be standing around in line and not talk to the people who are next yeah. to them because that's just, you know, it's random. It's weird. And but, we, all, we all suffered together in that merch <laughs> line on Wednesday. Yeah, exactly. So it's we like, all suffered in that hot as fuck merch line. Yeah. Outside I, of the fucking theater oh that God. didn't move for three hours. Oh, gosh. And, and I guess that's the cool thing is that, like, you know, you're kind of like creating this whole community even if you're not a part of the discord, it's like you can immediately join it or you can immediately like jump in with somebody and, you know, just have a cool conversation with, with yeah. anybody about anything, you know, whether it's anime or not. But I think this is cool. I think this should like be something that definitely spreads out, you know, to whether it's not even on discord or it's like people are just having meetups like they do, like the cosplay meetups, which is cool. Like, cause you get people just go to take pictures and, you know, you talk to other cosplayers, but having a meetup on discord is like, for people who are just like coming in from out of town or you know who can't do like a regular thing and you can have a drink or you know yeah. talk to somebody get food or stand in line with somebody so it was cool yeah. i think next year um because this discord is gonna keep going um, right right for if you're a new viewer and you want to go to anime expo next year um we should post a link to like to the discord mm -hmm. um although we probably need a link from the whoever owns it for a permanent link because oh. it would, but like we could probably ask, right. you could probably ask like, yeah, yeah, yeah. See if like anybody that's interested yeah, we'll in going to AX next year. Yeah. You can join the discord, meet up with everyone and then maybe have a, another meetup next year. Yeah. See what happens. Definitely. Because it's going to stay open for planning for next year. So, right. Hopefully it becomes a big thing and then um, we get a lot of people go into that. Yeah. Yeah. I think it would definitely be really cool. Like I said, it's it's a cool, like, engaging thing with the community, especially because, you know, you don't get to meet a whole lot of people, whether, like, wherever you're at. Yeah. You know, that easily. I mean, if you like anime and you like beer and you watch us. Right. They like anime and no one's <laughs> above 21 like beer i'm not gonna say that there's any below 21 people that like beer over there but i mean i don't know you know to each their um, own um to each of their own <laughs> i mean in different countries they've got their own different true legal we did meet, drinking we did ages. meet people from canada and they were like yeah that sucks for all the people who you know came from out of the yeah. country and can't drink here yeah because I know my parents have had exchange students from Japan. Oh man, their that drinking sucks. age is twenty. Twenty, yeah. But here it's twenty-one. It's such a. And bummer. You've got places like France. 
yeah. like was What's it like mean? 16 or something like that oh i was gonna say like in, it's like 18 in, like everywhere something. else I think it's, it's like, like 14 in I think Southern it's like four, America. It's like if you're in France, like if you're 14 and you're with your parents, you can drink. No, you can drink like wine. But stuff, I think yeah. it's like if you're like maybe like 16 or 17, 18, yeah, like yeah. you can just drink on your own. It's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. So. I'm not going to say about when I first had a drink, but I mean. it may or may not have been before <laughs> or after the legal age here, but definitely. Definitely was not was not after the legal age. Definitely was not after the legal age. Yes. Um, but anyways, yeah. So Discord, the Anime Access Board, Anime Expo Discord is, was cool. I think it was, a, it was a really good idea. And I think it was surprisingly executed well because everybody was like, yeah, I don't know what we're doing. We just wanted to meet up and we're going to meet up with whoever's available, which is awesome. I mean, yeah. was, everybody's kind of like spur the moment. Like, sure, like want to go get grab a drink but we had like things that were planned and it ended up working out really well so we should get um some of the mods maybe the creator or like one of the mods yeah. on as a guest for yeah that'd be a cool. future episode yeah 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 we'll ask him yeah, yeah. so I'll, I'll throw up some stuff on the, the discord and keep talking to all the guys and we'll see if we can get some people on be cool and i know you got some people in um, yeah to follow at least our twitter or wordpress yeah yeah i talked to i talked to a few people and we had some pretty good conversations about anime and you know about the podcast and i think it was cool i mean that's that's what i wanted to do like that was my reason for joining it was not just to bring in viewers but to just like talk to people about you know their thoughts on anime because there's there's tons of like content creators out there who are you know dissecting anime and you get their their thoughts but <clears throat> i think as like us you know having a podcast where we dissect it too i think it was it, I was in my like I was interested in knowing what other people thought too about you know series that are coming out or things that I, we may have missed and yeah. I think that'd be that'd be cool to you know to bring that to the to the show. You weren't here just for the shill. You were there for the chill. My man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, uh, <laughs> That's good. Uh, mo- moving <laughs> moving from Anime Expo, since I know we talked about it a lot this episode, we yeah, should probably yeah. cover our last topic, which is uh, Darling in the Bronx. Oh, yes. So that ended. Yeah. And so you finally caught up. Last night. Yeah. And that was so funny because I was like, oh, did you watch the finale? You're like, no, Not I yet. remember. I haven't seen the past like five episodes. I stopped. And I was like, oh, that's right. I forgot you told me that. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to wait. Yeah. Because it got weird on episode twenty. And I'm oh, like, dude! It started getting weird on like watch episode the rest eighteen until <laughs> the rest of it comes out. Because I have a feeling it's gonna be like, I'm gonna be like either mad or like yeah, get well, uh, right. stuck on a cliffhanger. Right, right. Episode twenty one had a huge cliffhanger, very huge cliffhanger, and I'm just like, I'm so glad I waited. Right. And um, wait, so like, yeah, just to preference this or like spoiler preface this. Yeah. Thank you. Preference preface. Thank you. Yeah. So if you haven't caught up or you haven't finished it yet by this time, you pause. should go, go pause, pause it or skip to the end or something yeah. um, and go watch it. I think yeah. it was a it's a good series overall. Definitely. Overall, it's a good series. Yeah. Um, if, if you want to like be satisfied and not have like weird, crazy twists, stop at like 17. I think is what it was. Yeah. 17. But but definitely finish the series. It was good. But anyways, pass the spoilers. Let's yeah. get into the spoilers. Um, but yeah, so you had mentioned something this weekend about <laughs> about Zero Two's wedding dress, and yeah. I just I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and then I see like fucking Sterlitzia Apis, yeah. and then she it turns into Zero Two, and I'm like, yeah. What the? I I honestly just like fucking busted up laughing. So did I. I was like, <laughs> just like, what the fuck is going on? I was like, on no here? way. Is this really like, happening? What the fuck is going on? And, yeah. Um, like that was fucking weird. So oh so so that was the thing. After I watched the trigger panel and um, what is it? Koyama. He told us that the first designs of the um the Franks actually had human faces and yeah. they looked like the people. Well, they said that. Right. The director yeah. was saying, wouldn't it be cool if our mechs were like idols? <laughs> makes sense. Because he's the director for Idol Master, mind you. Right. Watch the first season of Idol Master. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. That's a, good, that's but a good, good season. The mechs are clearly designed after females. Sure. Yeah. And um, the fact that <laughs> Sterlitzia at this turned into zero two yeah i was like what the fuck just happened yeah 
And yeah. it's like it's like that Evangelion shit where it's like the pilot takes on the pain and like the stuff like they feel the pain of the of the mech because like in spoiler warning if you haven't watched Evangelion oh yeah like, that's yeah I mean you're you like need to go watch Evangelion. twenty years like too late but like it's <laughs> you need to go like watch clearly Evangelion. like they they feel the pain of the angel yeah that is the is the unit. And it's the same thing for the females, like the, the yeah, they're piloting the, the, the frogs. They're the pistols or the stamens, which I forget. They're pistols. Pist- no, I think they're stamens. I don't, I don't, I don't know flowers and how they work, but I want to say it's. I want to say it's stamen. one of those two. I think it's stamen. It's one of those two. Female or male or pistols. I, I don't know which one's the penis and which one's the badge. I, 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 I thought it was pistol because it's penis, but okay. I could be wrong. I don't know. It sounds like it sounds. It sounds yeah. like that makes sense. I, I like that know. logic. Kind of want to um, Google this now. <laughs> basically, the whichever one is the receiver um, is the, <laughs> is the one that receives the pain, um, like like in in Evangelion. So it's like the same thing. Um, so props to Gainax slash A one trigger, which is Gainax. Um, they did the same thing as Evangelion, and it was just overall kind of weird. You, space is an Evangelion too. The angels came from space. Oh no, I was wrong. It's the other way around. Um. Okay. Sorry. So the stamens yeah, receive the damage. Yeah, yeah. Those are the girls. No, no, no. That's at the the the, the pistols. Oh, the, the pistols yeah. receive the damage. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, it's weird. Yeah, is what I'm getting at. Yeah, it was like they're connected to the the mech because they are the mech, basically. What also like, was weird was Hero had a very hard time connecting with girls other than Zero Two, but the male clone. Oh, dude, he was Zero like, Two. He oh, was they, they were like no problem, no problem. He's yeah. just like, yeah, you can be my pistol. <laughs> yeah, he, well, the dude was like, you know, I can do both. Yeah, and yeah. Hero's like. Well, all right, yeah. and then he's just like, like I, like I can tell you put a lot of stress on your on your <laughs> pistols here. He's like, I can, I, I can feel it, and yeah. it's just like that, yeah. you know, it's trapped, dude. He's, I mean, technically he's got girl <laughs> DNA in him, right? It's the Franks, right? X X yes. female chromosomes, X-X. female Techn- chromosomes. Yes, yeah. If you didn't know by now, right? That X. Yeah. Speaking of not knowing, yeah. I told you yesterday. I was like. It took me this long to realize that Zero Two's name could be read as Oni. Oni. Yeah. I was like, like, when you said that, I was like, oh, yeah. And I was that like, <laughs> I was like, wait, it took me forever. I was just like, why doesn't it get like a Japanese name? Like, yeah, like, like the rest everybody of them. else. And it was like, or will what the... could it be? And I was like, they've been calling her a demon this whole. Oh, Oni. Oh, Ni. Oh fuck! Oh shit! And it's like I do. I feel fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, somebody had like some like crazy theory on on Reddit about like why she was called Zero Two in Iota, and I was like, this just seems way out there. Like it, it can't be that. But it's true. probably correct because if you were at the trigger panel, like they're talking about like double meanings with kill the kill. That's true. And. Basically, he was, like, he was like, "Yeah, it's it's kill the kill is like if you like kiru like. in Japanese is like kiru is like to wear and like all the stuff was like their like the scissor yeah he was like, and he also said like, like or life and yeah then, but to wear so it's like it's the like, uniforms is like kiru is like to wear and like the their outfits were like their uniforms are what gave them the powers so right. like to wear is kiru and then. Kiru's also to cut and yeah. like the scissors. It was literally like literally scissors. the scissors, <laughs> um, the weapons. Right. Um, and then you've got like they mentioned like Ikiru, which is like to to live, which I sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I did not I did not know was like another thing that was part of it, but yeah. I uh-huh. guess it's a thing, but whatever they were yeah they, 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 they were like, all in they like this meetings. convoluted ass shit man. yeah <laughs> they like thinking into it like extremely deep which is good i mean that's that's cool that's enjoyable Just that imagine you know, if that goes into it if hideaki Anno was still it was like working on stuff for trigger you get some absolutely bonkers ass <laughs> shit just like going off in there 
here. <laughs> um, so be glad that that's not happening. Right. So anyways, back to Darling the Frogs. So, all right. Um, what did you think about the the ending, the final episode okay. finale? G- give, me your, give me your take on it. My take? So yeah. first impressions. Um, Kokoro is loose as fuck. <laughs> four Damn. kids? Four? Damn. <laughs> um, Goro, yeah, but- <laughs> Goro is the first. Yeah. Um, best friend character that actually fucking gets his shit. Like he yeah. gets the girl. Like he knows what he wants. He, he knows goes, what he wants. He gets the girl. Yeah, gets the girl. He's on good terms with the main character. Yes. And it's not like heroes like trying to fucking take the girl that he's into. But yeah, he's exactly. like, no, I like this fucking girl. That's a fucking demon. Yeah. And <laughs> he's like. Yeah, man, like you can have that. I'm into this girl over here. Right. I've been into and she's been into you for the same time. And that was the thing. It's like Goro knew yeah. that she that, you know, Ichigo still loved. Hiro, I was so but... fucking happy for that dude. Yeah, me too. I like was that, too. I was like, like that damn, when he did that character kiss, I was like, I was yeah, like, dude, that guy yeah. was you just Goro, fucking, my man. fucking baller. But like yeah. that char- type of character almost never gets to see the light of day exactly yeah because the fact they that always that happened, get cucked or something yeah. and then you know you just feel bad for them but yeah i'm glad he got his you know he got a happy ending but honestly what i thought was gonna happen but it could still be a thing there's like if you got your fan theories was <laughs> that goro and ichigo's kid was gonna be like hero or something or zero two like there's a send yeah, like because i mean well like you know at the very yeah. end but but like at the very end, we don't know whose yeah, kids who, they who are. They were. I mean, they could literally be anybody. Anyway, yeah. Maybe them, there's a higher yeah. chance it's Kokoro's kid. <laughs> yeah, because she had fucking five kids. She has like a billion kids, <laughs> yeah. and Futoshi had a bunch of kids too. Yeah, he did. Who's they were like his wait, wife and kid look like about? fucking what's her name from Kill the Kill? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, basically, there's a high chance. That Zero Two is from Kokoro's um, bloodline, I guess you could say, because hmm. her kid, I, is the one that was saying, darling, darling, like, <coughs> yeah. in the whole, like, communing yeah, yeah. spirit thing. So, like, I have a feeling that my personal theory is that Hero comes from Ichigo and Goro's family line, and then Kokoro and Misuru's family line has Zero Two. Mm, That's my personal it's a good theory. It's right. It's right. <laughs> you heard it here first. You heard folks. it here first. It's right. Go ask at the next uh, trigger panel next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll ask the question. Yeah, yeah. You ask the question. I'm not going to yeah. ask it in Japanese. You'll get You'll get it like be, a free prize. Be, because uh, um, I felt really bad for that girl that asked it in jet. Ja- oh, you weren't so, there. Somebody asked There's me. a girl that asked the question in Japanese and she was like so nervous that she was messing up. Oh, really? And the translator just like, sorry, I don't understand the question. And I was just like, oh, that's oh, so sad. Oh, man, that's, that is, that is rough. You should have, you should have like, you were like standing right I, there. You should have stood up and been I'm like, gonna, yeah. no, I'm going to ask the question in Japanese. <laughs> oh, but that's I'll so ask sad. But she like, tried though. And they'd be like, I want to know the official, the official lineage of the reincarnations. Good, that's a good question. If yeah, I'm so right, that was you heard a, it here first. That was something I was expecting completely. So my friend had called me, you know, Yoshi. He called me. Oh, Yoshi. Yeah, he called is me he, that Does day. he listen to this? Yeah, he was. No, I don't know. I, I told him about you it. You should tell him about and, it. And uh, I told him that I, uh, we were watching Down in the Franks and he asked if I had watched the final episode. And I said no. And I was like, don't tell me what happens. And he's like, OK, I won't. I was like, but I think I know what's going to happen. And I was like, mm-hmm. sometime later, like. You know they're gonna die together, and it's gonna be like some magical thing, and As and then in, in and the then last gonna, episode, yeah. And I was like, and then like they're gonna somehow make it back to Earth or something, like something in the future. And he's like, I don't know. It's like the, <laughs> that's, that's yeah, that's happened. what happens. <laughs> but but I like okay, it didn't play out exactly like I thought. But I was like, yeah, it's pretty much like yeah, yeah I, I had a clue. That's that's what happened. Yeah, I was like, I had a clue. But um, I was like, yeah, like that's 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 what I think. It it's. It's very Gainax and Trigger. It's very Trigger. like Just it's... like for the way it ended. Yeah. For it to be like like mo- more than one thing becoming one. And like the idea of like humanity struggling yeah. to overcome like a bigger thing. That's right. like 
very it's like they, they have to like come together in some sort of like some sort of way yeah and, and like come to understanding of, of each other whether it's like person to person or like you know as a society yeah and then like overcome something and like they'll grow out of it which is cool like that's that's like a good you know way to end something because like yeah. it makes you feel happy and like you feel like you're satisfied because like people overcame the differences in a sense i mean as much as i laughed at certain <laughs> <Yeah>. things <laughs> Overall, yeah. it ended <clears throat> in a way that I'm like, you know, I get it. Right. Like, I don't know if it's better than Gurren Lagan or, or anything, but. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. So, we'll, do you want to do a rating today or. Yeah, we should do a rating. Do you rating? Drew hasn't watched any of it. No. I mean, Alec was watching it. I don't, I don't know if he's know been keeping if up. He's been keeping up because he's moved and all that stuff. Yeah, he's been um, really busy. I think we should do a rating. So. All right. What do you, what do you think? Oh, fuck. Oh, so when you went first. <laughs> Can we go first? Uh, no. My bad. Um, I don't know. I, I enjoyed the series. I think it was a lot of fun. The first half was definitely like a really cool experience. It was it was an enjoyable ride. It was a better half. It was definitely the better, yeah. like a stronger half for sure. Um, and I kind of like almost in a sense like wish it had continued with the way that it was going. Like once it hit the second half, it, it kind of got shaky and it went went, to space. went very went to space. There's no there's no denying that it went to space. Went to space. So I don't know. I'll probably give it like an eight. I think. Yeah, I was gonna think like eight eight and a half. I'll say eight. I'm I'm at an a, eight. It was a solid show. Solid. Yeah. It wasn't amazing. Yeah. If I have to laugh at some of your shit at the end right and, and that's like it, those are like pivotal moments those and it was like moments. it was so big things were like You're happening talking about and the like, fucking wedding dress for yeah. zero two and i'm like what are you talking about <laughs> but afterwards you were like i'm just like what the fuck is going on yeah and that was like that was the thing it was like all all of the other pilots are there and like and and then she's like wearing basically what looks like a wedding dress. And she has a bouquet, and the then there's like fucking the, the fucking road. It's like the the red walkway as she's like you know proceeding. The t- <laughs> fucking twin. Um. So it's like episode twenty one. The cl- so it's like the cliffhanger is like oh shit like zero two is like lifeless. It's like she's yeah. dead. No, her mind is in the fucking unit like everyone yeah. knows because her body is getting damaged from yeah. all the fucking fighting. It's yeah. Like, oh, come on. Like, yeah. That's what I was like. I was like, she's not there. Like she, she she's just can't clearly be there. the unit and yeah. just, like all this stuff. And I was like, oh, yeah, we had this fucking picture book where she fucking flies away. <laughs> like I had thought that like three episodes before that she had changed the ending. Yeah. Already. But we had to wait for them to change the ending at the ending. Yeah. So. Yeah, overall, I think it was a it was a solid show, and I think like I enjoyed it. I still had fun, and I think it was like a good, you know, it was a good adventure. Yeah, it had some questionable turns, some really good, you know, first half. Like the battles in the first half were amazing. I uh, that's I think that's what like you know a lot of sexual innuendos. The, oh, that was just like a plus. Just the fucking the memes that the came last, out the last couple episodes. Like <laughs> I can feel you deeper inside me <laughs> my favorite was the are you trying to suck hero dry <laughs> oh man it's i oh man like that yeah. the memes that came so out of the show were a plus but you got the a yeah. tier waifu yeah, yeah exactly the the legit like new waifu of millions of children yeah yeah and well i mean i'm not talking about kokoro but oh well, my bad that was, but well that was yeah that was what i was going for well, I mean, no. sucks for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but oh, yeah. you, you. Oh, so that was another thing. Is like, and you also had people who were legit mad about the creators doing certain things. Oh yeah, with Ichigo, people were mad about Ichigo. People like the producer, I know the artist why had animated was an animator got like death yeah. threats. I don't know why you're all mad about Ichigo. Yeah, she no, no, acted, it, was the, it was the voice actress. That's what it was. Oh, but. Yeah, that Why? that's like way extreme, and it was like her character acted in a way that made sense. Yeah, given the information that she had, and then the way you know she was developed, it made sense that she would do something like that. Well, yeah. How would she know what we know? Yeah, of course. 
like she acted upon her like, like instinct because I, she felt a certain way. Like yeah. I feel like so. it's because you know anime has become it's it's starting to become like a broader audience that like a lot of people that are newer to it yeah um may not like they may be casual viewers and not get certain things that are kind of established as like tropes sure yeah that makes sense and so like it it makes sense the way her character acts if you've seen a lot of anime but if you haven't then you just kind of go like why did she do that but like given the information that you get as a viewer like just you have to understand that like you have a lot more information than the characters have right so the way ichigo act acted is actually very in line lo- with yeah it's yeah. logical yeah for what information she had right yeah it, if it you sense. if you if you loved someone <laughs> like for years yeah and this new person comes in yeah and like and, all of a sudden that person isn't looking at you at all and like, then that person gets them fucking like in a serious accident yeah. would would you feel like they should you know see them and like do all that stuff yeah like, that makes sense yeah course. it's like you're trying to protect the person that you like yeah and you're trying to make sure that the person that you, you like is or yeah, fucking <laughs> that was the crazy, crazy thing it was like it was a lot of american viewers it was mainly no just crazy. american viewers and like I, felt, <laughs> I don't know why i think feel of responsible. the line of thought here i don't know why i feel it's, responsible for that yeah, but, but like oh yeah that's it be it was try to understand the other perspective yeah it was shocking at stuff. first but then it's like yeah that's you may be mad sense. because like zero two is overall yeah because you don't want it to happen character yeah but you have to look at it at another viewpoint because yeah. shipping wars can become deadly yes yeah yep when you start playing sides and you mm-hmm. know you can't see the other side yeah it's you get blind rage blind rage yeah dude it's an MMO now? Yeah, dude. Dude, oh, oh shit. Darling in the Franx MMO. Darling in the Franx. Battle Royale, AO. dude. It, oh, shit. Alternative online. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a guy about Darling in the Franx. <laughs> That's a Battle Royale. Yeah, speaking of the last things, um, we've kind of gone into an hour, but oh, nice. like mm-hmm. we we can kind of talk about what, like one last topic, but... We're probably gonna cover this next season yeah, yeah, yeah. in in the next episode. Yeah. But we can kind of, you know, give our thoughts about what we're gonna see in the next season. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff we talked about in like the previous episodes yeah, um yeah. coming into it. But one show in particular, Goblin Slayer, oh. is gonna be coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Um, I'm in, I'm looking forward to it, but I read the first two chapters. Yeah, right. I told you. I was like, there, there's some really heavy shit in the first couple of chapters, and there's no way they can put that in an anime. I don't know if they can show some of the stuff. <laughs> no way, dude. There's because no way. I'm like, it's it's supposed to be like a, a graphic anime, and from what like you know they've released, but I don't think that even equates to anything graphic they have to cut it out they have to cut stuff out i was like like i know like yeah so it's like the reason why it's called goblin slayer is because like the main hero has got a vendetta against goblins and he knows how to kill goblins yeah he literally does nothing else kill goblins yeah his entire life's goal is to kill goblins because of like traumatic past but, and, but he's he's good at it, and so that's why he's called Goblin, Split, Goblin Slayer. You so, can get why he has a traumatic past about goblins within the first two chapters. Yeah. Because of what happens to a certain side background character. Yeah. And just, like, but in like, general, I'm like, the, the, holy The series crap. itself is really good. Like, it, it's engaging because it's, like, it's so, like, extreme that you're, like, holy crap. Like, I need to know more about this guy. And, like, you and, know, I want to, like, learn, like, why he has this huge vendetta. Like, where he's going to go from here and, like, what's going to happen to him. Because, yeah, I mean, like, every chapter is, like, it's really well drawn. Like, the animation, I mean, well, I guess it's manga. So, it's, like every panel is just like so heavy like all the all the lines in it are like really really like thick lines so everything is like it has like a lot of weight to it in in general like yeah. the the main um i mean like goblins in general like are seen as like 
dumb creatures yeah, that like do very primitive creatures. things. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit. Yeah, was... but, like, there's, like, different, like, elements that you, like, come to come to learn about. So it's cool. Like, I'm excited for the anime. That's well, that's not coming out until, like, fall, right? Yeah. I think. I'm, I'm worried about <laughs> how they're going to portray certain things because... There's a lot of deep shit, heavy shit going on there. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what happens. I mean, I think I want to say it's White Wolf that's doing that one. Right. White Fox. Oh, White Fox. No. Yeah. Right ahead. White Fox. White Wolf. Same thing. Wolf Fox. Lovely. Yeah, close. <laughs> well, I think it's White Fox. I might be wrong. That's um. If you haven't read the first two chapters of the manga or the first chapter of the light novel, yeah. Um. Yeah, be be careful. Be careful. Like, yeah, that's definitely a, a, a warning for you. It's it's pretty heavy. Like because the first two chapters of the manga, at least, are going to be the first episode, just by pacing wise. That's usually how it works. That and it's just like the first... way, like the way it ends. Yeah, like that's like the introduction to the yeah the series. So I think it'll be. I think it'll do well as a as an anime as long as they do it right and not yeah. like they did Berser- i mean not, well berserk and kingdom which went to way of like cg which is just i didn't see absolute, i don't watch bad cg absolutely except for love life absolute trash absolutely except for love life <laughs> love life's not trash but it's got bad cg uh I watched Ber- the first berserk season. and kingdom got shafted so yeah. hard i feel so bad are you some- trying to make a shaft joke yes <laughs> drew's triggered <laughs> Trigger. Trigger. Uh, trigger. Shaft and trigger. Tra- shaft and. Is it anything? No. No. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. <laughs> well, anyways. <laughs> well, oh. I'm glad you've been reading it. It's cool. Yeah. It's a good series. And there's like, like I said, there's only like 25 chapters, I think, now. Which is about the same for, um, was it How to Not Summon a Demon Lord or whatever? Yeah, there's not that many chapters. Yeah. I watched the first episode. I didn't see it yet. Uh, but. I. I. I couldn't really get into the manga because it seemed very, um, very text heavy. And it, it seemed like it kind of distracted from like, you know, following the story and like proceeding really quickly, which I, I think if the story doesn't like grab me immediately and like it, it has like a good pacing to it, I, I'll kind of drop a series or I'll, I'll like, you know, I'll occasionally pick it up and read like a couple chapters and I'll be like, right, I'm tired. Like, but I think the anime is going to do really well. Okay. It's It was funny. It was like, funny? Yeah. It because was, that's what yeah, all I care about. That's, because the manga is hilarious. The manga is funny like because the main character has yeah. like these asides where he's like, oh my God, I don't know how to react to something. And it's like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and they did it really, they did it pretty well. So. Okay. Because that's all I'm worried <clears throat> about. Because like I'm, yeah. I'm like, when I stopped reading it, I was halfway into what's currently released for it okay yeah. and so there's like maybe like 29 chapters or something released in english at least but yeah it's, it's not that it's far. pretty funny it's but pretty, it's, it's it's pretty it's also very it's like edgy. extremely focused on fan service it's pretty edgy dude it's so edgy that like, was like it was Shara, almost like, the blonde yep, elf like yeah. she's got ginormous yeah tits. in the anime it's just and like boing, they always boing, boing. like yeah. reference it in <clears throat> yeah. the manga and i but i think like the the comedy side and like the interesting side of like the storyline side of it it was like enough to kind of get past that at least for that first episode so we'll see where it goes from there but yeah watch the first episode and tell me how it is yeah like i'm <clears throat> i'm hoping it's good because i want to watch it this season because yeah. i need something that's like kind of like trinity seven that's like I know the manga is probably better, but yeah, well, I don't know. We'll like, see. I thought that Trinity Seven anime was entertaining, although like so having read yep. a good chunk of the manga, I was like, this is not yeah. adapted. Yeah, I don't think well. I finished the anime because I I had kept going in the the manga, and I was like, yeah, but just... like something with like some fan service, but like is still funny. Like I'm down for. It. Drew's gonna be down for it. Yeah. Cher is a blonde elf with big boobs. Yeah. That is Drew's absolutely his type. Yeah, there's If you like... didn't know from listening to our podcast before, <laughs> his type is blonde, blonde. big boobs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, in the first episode itself has a lot of like etchy parts and it's kind of funny the way that they progress. So definitely that that's one to check out. And I think the first episode just came out like yesterday or two days ago. So 
Yeah. A lot of premieres we got to cover next week. Yeah. Well, we'll go over all the premieres. I watched episode two of Hanabato and I think it's, oh it's, it's going it good. Yeah, it's going well. Okay. I, I think that's going to be a show that I'll keep up on for sure. I love it. I like my sports anime. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't watched Harukano Receive. That came out too. Oh, the, be- the, the beach one? Beach volleyball. Beach volleyball? Yeah. Love we got it. badminton. We, we can talk about that next and week. And beach volleyball. Yeah. yeah. Next week. So I, I want to watch that one. But yeah, so anyways, yeah, yeah, we'll get into more like Steins Gate, of course, which we're still covering. Yeah. We'll get into more of that next week. We have like two two weeks worth to, to catch up on. Speaking of like the how we're doing all this stuff, we should do like a live reaction to a bunch of the premieres. We could do that. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. Look forward to it. It's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that won't happen. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, we'll cover more like Steins Gate, um, some of the other like premieres. I, I watched another one that I don't think I'm going to continue watching. What was it? <laughs> I don't remember the name of it. It was it was almost like um, King's Game style. It, and I don't remember. People probably will hate me for saying this, but it was that one where the girl is like, wakes up in some she thought she was in a hospital and this guy is like chasing her with a scythe and i can't remember the name of it and she, like people are like trying to kill her but then she ends up asking the guy with the scythe to kill her i don't i don't remember what it was called um i don't know if that's real dude it's real i swear that doesn't sound like it's real no it's real life if that's real then shame on you japan it's real life Angels um, of Death. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if I'll keep watching. Shame it. on you. We'll see. I'll give it the old three epi rule. Yeah. I gave King's Game the one episode of rule, so. <laughs> so should I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to give this the zero episode of rule. No, just, just from what you said about it. We'll watch the first episode at least. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did give King's Game a one episode rule. Um, I was like, yeah. No, I can't. Not even for the memes. It wasn't worth it. And just the ridiculousness of it. I couldn't do it. But this was like, uh, I don't know. It seemed too mystery for me. All right. Well, I think that about wraps, wraps up it. this right. episode. Yeah. But it's been a good yeah. episode. Yeah, it's been fun. about a lot. Um, I think we got a new Love Live fan over here. He's gonna watch Love Live now. I played the I played like the he's the played Love School Live. Idol Festival. Yeah, I played School Idol Festival. So, that was fun. It, but I can't I, do he's gonna thing. he's gonna he's gonna watch he's gonna watch the anime. Yeah, maybe it will. He's gonna watch the anime, he's gonna get into it. Right. He's gonna go to what I'm saying is next year, Fifth <laughs> Live, last last concert, yeah, Los Angeles. All right. I'll be I'll be I'll be there. Watch it. Fifth Live in Los Angeles. You get a lot of Japanese libraries coming over here. There were already a bunch of Japanese libraries that came to LA. Yeah. We were talking, me and my friend were talking to a bunch of Chinese libraries that were behind us. Really? There were some Korean libraries there. Like That's they, cool. There's like, it was like a whole collection of basically everyone. Like people from like, all over? Yeah, all over that were into Love Lives. That's so, so cool. It's It's a tight knit community. Yeah, that's really cool. Next He's going to be part of it we'll next see. year. Yeah. Probably. We'll find out who his best girl is. <laughs> yeah, I can't say that. I can't say now. You can't say it now. We'll, but we'll, give it, we'll, we'll find out. Yeah, give it, give it a few he, months. He's going to so. find find out who it is and then. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think that about wraps it up. So uh, this has been episode 57, Anime on Draft. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. These are great beers. KBS by Founders. What is this? The Six Glass by Boulevard. Go try these beers. I think these are definitely really great, S- especially this one. If you can get your hands on it, try it. It's, it's worth it. It's it's worth the hype, I think. It is. Yeah. But follow us, animeondraft.wordpress.com. Yeah. You can find our link to our SoundCloud and iTunes. And our YouTube is Anime on Draft. And then our Instagram is... Anime on Draft Podcast. Anime on Draft Podcast. We yeah. changed it. Yeah. If you knew what it was before, I don't remember what it was before. It was everything was underscored and it was like the official anime on draft with underscores between everything. Yeah. That was no anime on draft podcast. And then Twitter is at anime on draft. So yeah. 
hit us up on there. If you guys have want to talk to us, please do send us a message. If you have any recommendations, if you have any uh, anything you want to say to us, go for it. Tweet us. Send us an email at enemyondraft at gmail dot com. Um, and yeah. I think if uh, you're from the Anime Expo Meetups Discord, yeah, you guys yeah. are awesome. Of course, yeah, we'll you have guys are amazing. some of you guys on as yes. guests. Yeah, yeah, we'll and see. Be cool. Join that Discord if you want to come to Anime Expo next year. Yeah, yeah, we'll see if we can post a link somewhere. All right, cool. That's been episode fifty-seven. Yeah, thanks for joining us, guys. Bye. See you.